Hi there, today we're going to go over the machinist job controller guide setup or what we call the cross hotbar setup. This is how I set up my bar but yours might be different and that's okay. This is just what works best for me and my mindset when playing. These are broken up into four sections, right trigger one, right trigger two, left trigger one, and left trigger two. Every DPS is different and each setup reflects that except for the one tried and true rule which is single target is mostly on the right side. AoE is mostly on the left side. These controller guides are perfectly set up for all content from 1 to 90 and you'll never have to move an ability when you sync down. Right trigger 1 letters are heated split shot, heated slug shot, and heated clean shot or our single target GCD rotation along with hypercharge. I always have the single target rotation on the first right trigger letters. Hypercharge is used pretty often so we can keep it nice and cozy and easy to reach. Right trigger 1 d-pad is our burst window abilities, heat blast, ricochet, wildfire, and goss round. We use these abilities a lot and so it's the best place for me while I'm still being able to move around if needed. Wildfire usually falls with hypercharge since we want as many GCDs as possible which heat blast provides. Right trigger 2 letters is automaton queen, tactician, and barrel stabilizer. Automaton queen is here to be near our HUD layout gauge so we can use this when needed at 50 for the opener and subsequently 80 during rotation. Tactician is just for ease of access when we need a party wide buff for damage mitigation and barrel stabilizers here to mimic hypercharge from the bottom so we can keep these in view of each other. Right trigger 2 d-pad is just queen overdrive which we rarely if ever use. If you notice machinist has the opposite of button bloat you have a lot of open spaces. So you can really move things around to what fits you and your controller setup. Left trigger 1 letters are scattergun, auto crossbow, bioblaster, and flamethrower. Scattergun is our AoE GCD while auto crossbow is our burst ability for the hypercharge window that we use in trash pools. Bioblaster and flamethrower are also AoEs and used when you meet the enemy criteria by suggested by the Icy Veins website, which is bioblaster at 2 plus enemies and flamethrower at 3 plus enemies as long as you don't have a hypercharge ready. After all those, you'll just scatter gun away. Left trigger 1 d-pad is our job abilities that are on weird cooldowns but they all perfectly sync up if performed perfectly. We have reassemble, drill shot, chainsaw, and air anchor. Reassemble is mostly used with chainsaw on cooldowns while two drill shots fit into one air anchor timing. I have played around to where I position these. I find this to be the easiest for me personally but you can also put these up above the right trigger one so everything you need is on the right trigger. I used to do that and it did work but I don't like having to double tap to access the right trigger two if I don't have to often. Left trigger two letters and d-pad are just all the job action abilities and limit break and you can organize these in any which way you want. Now machinist is a very very fast paced job but a lot of cooldowns line up perfectly when used properly which is why this controller hotbar setup for machinist works for me. This allows like cooldowns to be together and keep everything needed on the bottom cross hotbars for ease of access. I hope this guide helps you with machinist. I think it's a rather easy job to play honestly it's just more fast paced but once you understand the cooldowns and rotations it's actually pretty nice to play. When leveling, I find myself in the upper tiers of the aggro and damage list pretty often. I have a lot of other controller guide cross hotbar setups for other jobs like tank, healer, and other DPS. You can find that in the description box down below or at the end of this video by clicking here.